Hey guys, and welcome back to another fun episode of Minecraft. As you guys can see, we're doing another mining uh, podcast. Uh, next episode, hopefully, or it was the one before this one. I actually don't know because I'm playing this one by ear. Uh, me and Mad Dog actually are going to be doing a, or have done, a small podcast just so you guys can see. Yeah, I got someone else who's interested in doing this kind of stuff, and we both have something interesting to talk about. Me today, I have a small rant because I'm still trying to figure out these dumb motherfuckers. And I gotta call them that because of what they do. One, I live in Wisconsin, a majority red state. Why is it that no one can accept that Biden won? And by the time this comes out, uh, one sec. Yeah, it's 15 days away from inauguration. I'm recording this now on the 15th of December. The Electoral College just cast their votes, all that stuff, and apparently we need to wait till sometime in January for the Supreme Court to cast a vote because Trump is a sore loser. I don't understand this. A couple years back in 2016 when he became president, Biden was in the same, I mean, Trump was in the same place as Biden. 306 votes, uh, electoral votes. Trump said, it's a landslide victory. It's a landslide. You don't have, even have to recount. I won. Now, when it's the other way around, when it's Biden, oh, we got to recount. Oh, we got to recount. Oh, this is fake. Oh, they cheated. He can't accept that he lost. And then, if you'll please, then all these dumb fuckwits who come into my store. Everyone around here who, again, is a republic, it's a republic, they don't believe that the COVID virus is a big thing. Fuck that it's almost, ki that it's already killed over 300,000 people. Fuck that there are still millions of people infected and sick with it, that hospitals are filling up again, that we lost in one day more people than 9-11 and Pearl Harbor. No, no, we're going to run around and say, oh, this yes, shit is fake, oh, this virus is fake, when they're in the deathbed. This was actually on the news not too long ago. On the fucking news, there was a guy who was dying of COVID who needed to get the respirator put in. This is fake. This isn't right. I don't have COVID. I don't have COVID. COVID doesn't exist. And they had to put a ventilator in him. And the nurse said, that's the only way to make him shut up about it. If this virus wasn't real, if it was a hoax, if it was a political whatever, wouldn't Trump would have, wouldn't he have wanted to first off tell the American people straight out, hey, we got a virus coming, kids? Or do you think that he would have been like, oh no, you guys can go die, go go, go die, go die? No, 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 no. I, I call bullshit on the highest degree. Bullshit on the highest degree. Just because of this. If he wanted to make this a political thing, and I'm saying this from if I were to have done this, one, I would have warned the American people. It's like, hey, there's a new sickness out there. Immediately, just like China, immediately start making a vaccine for the son of a bitch. Then do what Trump did. I'll give him this. He closed down everything from China and out of town. Biden called him racist for it, which, yeah, that's a little harsh, but. And at that time, we didn't really know about the virus. Trump sh was shutting down uh, travel between certain countries just because they wouldn't do tariffs or wouldn't lower taxes on tariffs. But he would have done that. Then the... Then you should have kept the relief bills coming, the 1200 and then he wants to make it, and then after so many months, like three months, give someone, an, give us an R12, and then again, and again. Yes, that hurts the economy, but it also helps it by stimulating it. And not just that, we also have an obligation, he also has the obligation to make sure the American people 
are able to at least be able to afford food. I can't. You look on the news. You go to certain big cities: New York, Pittsburgh, Madison, even Milwaukee. You see so many homeless people out on the street because COVID either took away their job or has made it so difficult for them that they lost their house and can't get food. Or has just made it so difficult that they can't get food. I mean, he could have easily kept money coming into the American to the American people, even the small business where he royally fucked that up. But he could have easily kept getting it to the American people. And here's the funny thing. He he was on the news last night, back what yesterday, uh, Monday the fourteenth, when they were talking about how the electoral college had cast their votes. We were only waiting for Hawaii, and that uh, Biden had won. He is officially the elect, uh, elect, uh, the president elect at three hundred and six electoral votes. That being said. After that, it talked about how the the Democrats and Republicans were still talking about a new, another stimulus check, and then they showed Trump saying, "Oh, they don't want to. They don't want to talk with me. I want to give people more. I want to give people actually more." But if I'm mistaken, before the election, he actually said that no more uh, stimulus check negotiations until after I win. So. He's kind of playing a two-faced son of a bitch. First he said, no, we're not going to do it until after I win. And now that he's lost and he looks bad because, oh, I told these people I wasn't going to talk to him. Oh, no, I'm going to give people more. I want to give people more. He's like that little kid that gets stuck um, sharing candy. And the teacher says, well, do you have enough for everybody? Because it looks like you still have half. That's not a little unfair. And sharing, oh, no, I want to give him more, but I only have so much. I mean, I get it. Trump is a businessman. He's looking at angles, how he can stay in power, and all that shit. I get it. I really do. But at the same time, quit being a dick. Don't. You lost. Nothing wrong with losing. You lost the presidency. Okay. It's a bit of a setback for you because now... The Biden administration is going to look into your presidency and see if you've committed any major crimes that will put you in the prison. And now people are talking about, maybe we shouldn't put him in the prison. Maybe we should. Well, he's a liability because he can just start spouting off information that will get him further ahead in life. Or we can't send him to prison. Someone's going to shank him in the shower. It's... This is a big thing that's happening in our country right now because this is the first president we're looking at who has done all this shit. Oh, I'm going to look at Hunter Biden very closely. I'm going to look at Hunter Biden very closely. I'm not going to focus on his father. I'm going to focus on him because he's going to be my target. And Joe put up with it. Okay, uh, that didn't work. Uh, I'm going to interrupt everything they say during I mean, everything he says and throw him off guard during the uh, presidential debates. First debate, he does exactly that. He is just a loud son of a bitch, won't shut the fuck up, is abusive to both the, uh, ah, shit, the ref and also the Joe. To the point where Joe had to tell him to shut up several times. And the second one, he's just like, no, because this at this time, the president, who said it was no big deal, caught COVID and had one of the best medical teams and the best medical care in the United States. To the point where he said, oh, I want this to go to everybody. But it never came. It never will, because the president and his friends right now are higher up on higher up. So they can get special medical care. Giuliani even said, it depends on who you know. Oh, yeah, like the president of the United States who can easily order, yes, this man, I need him to be at top typical uh, fighting position and fighting stance. I need him in 100% health. Please get him healed up. Give him a shot of that, whatever the fuck it's called. And because of that, get this, a lot of people are pissed. Go figure. I mean... Special people to the president, special family members of those people as well, 
get the special health coverage and the special health care, yet say me or some other stooge from anywhere in the country, we have to hope and pray that a ventilator can save our lives with antibiotics and antibiotics. Like, tell me where that is fucking fair, first off. And secondly, why is it that only certain people are allowed this shit? Uh, oh, Regeneron. Sorry, Regeneron. Why is it only certain people are allowed this? Like, you say you want everyone in America to have this. Well, put your money where your mouth is and say it. Also, this is just a side note that it, it's kind of... It's not, like, end of the world, like what Trump's been doing, but it is a little bit off. They talked about having an estimate of, like, 300 million vaccines when this vaccine came in. But they immediately reduced it when the vaccine started coming to 35 to 60, uh, 35 to 30 million. Okay, so we're getting about a tenth of what we were promised, because we have... A little that's about less than half of even what Trump got during the during the vote. He got I think like seventy something and Biden got like eighty, ninety ninety something like in all of the United States. So yeah. So that means half the people are not going to be vaccinated, so we're just going to keep fighting and fighting and fighting it right now. The rest of the world, I think, yeah, the first COVID uh, vaccine was given over in the UK. And the fun thing about that is they even talked about the side effects of what this is. Apparently it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a hyperactive flu vaccine. Your temperature shoots up, you feel like shit for like two days, and then it immediately goes away. Like, immediately. I think it's what it's doing is it's raising your internal body temperature to kill whatever's in the body. Because remember, the COVID, can, the COVID uh, virus cannot survive over 100 degrees for more than like two hours. So if you're at 109 for, say six eight hours you are going to boil that son of a bitch out you might boil your brain but there's a good chance you'll survive that being said look at that we have a vaccine now i and they're estimating by about springtime maybe uh fall we should be at a hundred percent again we'll never be the same never gonna say be the same we're still going to be wearing face masks and shit like that. But I can see us going back to opening up stadiums. I can see us going back to going to big outdoor events <clears throat> like me. I'm still excited for, uh, shit, what's it called again? Uh, oh, yeah, the Ren Fair. Me, I actually got to get new some new armor, some new shoulder armor, uh, collar and shoulder armor. Just so when I'm fighting, I can easily just go, and have armor because I'll have leather over my forearms, metal on my shoulders and neck, and uh, for my shins, I'll have leather there too. So, either way, I will be completely covered. I just need to finish off my outfit. I need boots, I need a black face mask just because. Yeah, it's going to be one of those neoprene ones that you can easily breathe through that hook around the ear. And lastly, I need my, uh, yeah, I need that armor. And then I'm done. Like, if I want, I can get a new sword. I can, but I don't know if I want to. Because one of the swords I'm actually looking at, a hunting sword, which is actually what they used in Germany for a long while. Uh, I want to use them, get one of them. Even though you had to peace tie it. You had to peace tie everything, which is nice, but then you can't show off your weapons. I also want to be able to get more arrows, because I only have like eight. I want to be able to walk around with like 20 in my bag, in my quiver. Which will make things a little more intimidating, but at the same time, it's like, oh, I got arrows. This is realistic. If I'm walking on the forest... I don't have to worry about, oh, I only got eight shots. No, I have 20 shots. Bitch, we're good. So, yeah. And I'm off track of the whole politics. But 
hopefully uh, Biden will see all this with the whole COVID vaccine and all that and figure out what to do because uh, I know I said it in a past video, Biden was actually found, people actually found out that Biden had actually been, <clears throat> excuse me, actually had a team in place before he was even, while he was running, so when he won, because he knew he was going to win, no holds barred, I thought he was going to win too, but after he won, uh, this team could immediately go in and hit the ground running with new COVID uh, policies, economic recovery, that kind of stuff. I mean, I don't agree with the whole green deal where we're going to be renovating buildings to have smaller windows and more energy efficient appliances and it is going to cost billions upon billions maybe even trillions of dollars to do but I, I get where he's coming from we need a renewable energy source but at the same time it's but maybe you should just give people the option like what you're doing for medicare it's like give people the option and that way that yeah that way we can easily choose if we want to renovate the house cuz right now my office slash bedroom slash apartment is made entirely out of plywood a little bit of insulation and whatever siding is outside plus a metal roofing that it, it traps cold in traps heat and heat comes up through the house like my room is either boiling hot during the summer which I actually told you guys I think during the summer or like right now it's cold and I like the cold, and I have a fan actually blowing on me right now. If I want, I can always kick on a heater and heat this room very quickly. But, at the same time, it's like, eh, I don't really need it that bad. Heck, I even have a little uh, space heater uh, that I can choose what temperature I want my room at. If I want it at 72, 74, I just plug him in, and he will get to that temperature. Once it gets to that temperature, it turns off. And it will constantly come on and off to maintain that heat. But I always leave my window open, so eh, it'll be a little hard for it. Yeah, so, yeah. Now, now we talked about the president's uh, whole COVID thing. Here's something I don't understand. These dumb fuckers next door at my gas station. Not only are they the Republicans who spout all this nonsense bullshit and such offensive things about the president-elect and... Uh, the vice president, uh, vice president elect, sorry, I almost said just vice president, not talking about pens, but they say so many horrible things. But here's the thing. A lot of them refuse to wear a mask. Technically, that's their right. And the HIPAA law refuse, doesn't allow me to uh, ask them to put on a mask if they say HIPAA or medical condition. They say that I technically cannot throw on a mask. I cannot tell them to throw on a mask. Okay, I'm wearing mine, so I'm safe. I can't tell you how many people, and I walk around without a mask. That's an old habit because I worked in the foundry for a while, and I just couldn't wear one. Legally, I could not wear a face mask because if I was working in a hot environment, it would light on fire, and then that would put me in danger. So I couldn't wear one. And those polyester ones or the really stretchy fabric, I could not wear them either because they melt and they get stuck to my face and cause severe burns. So I would walk into I walk into the gas station all the time. Oh yeah, I'm not wearing a mask. And people are like, Yeah, that's just Garrett. He has a reason. And about three weeks ago there was this lady who with a mask on sat outside by her car because I was in the store without a mask, and she refused to come in. So I decided to do this. I walk out. She starts walking in. Oh, hang on. I forgot something. Go back in, buy a cigar. Walk back out. Oh, hang on. I forgot something. Go back in, buy another I did this ten times. Just walking out going, oh, I forgot something. Walking back in. I pissed her off so much she even told me, dude, quit being a jackass. I, I had to look at her and go, well, I'm not wearing a mask, and you don't want to go in. You're safe, tail and safe. I'm the only one at risk. I I get that. I get where they're coming from because I'm the same way. If you're not wearing a mask, you're trying to spread it. But at the same time, you're not. If you know you're healthy, like that day, I knew I was negative. So I didn't really give a fuck. 
but that's the thing. I got these other dumbasses who think, oh, the COVID's going to kill me. They have the mask all the way down on top of their upper lip, or they have it all the way down just underneath their chin so they can talk normally. It's... They're concerned about the virus, yet then they're going to turn around and go, you know what, fuck it, I don't need to wear this properly. Or, I swear to fucking Christ, I see it every day. They'll pull their mask down, cough into their hand, like cough into their hand like they were taught, and then go and grab something. Or they'll get a sneezing attack all over my fucking door, wipe it with their hand, uh, and then go grab shit. It's like, oh my god, I don't need this in my store. Ah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, that's the one sad thing I don't like. It's, I get it. I fucking get it. You don't want to listen to the rules. I get it. The rules to you don't make sense. I get it. I understand, but that doesn't mean you have to go around being an entire dipshit dumb fuck and immediately start get trying to get everyone else, including me, fucking sick. I don't care if it's a regular cold. I don't need that shit. I don't care if it's just, oh, I had the sniffles from allergies. I don't care. I don't want to touch your snot. It's disgusting. Why on earth would I want to touch that? But no, you say something and, oh, you get you, me, you, 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 I can't actually tell all of these people to put their fucking masks on if they start sneezing. We actually had someone come in, and we had a big thing with the, with the gas station about people talking and wondering what the policy should be. <clears throat> I get people constantly saying, yeah, I'm supposed to be in quarantine, but I'm not. And I also get people who say, yeah, I had COVID. I left the quarantine and all that and if you ask oh so you had a negative test uh no not yet but i know i'm out it, it's been two weeks i wanted to look at all these people and call them dumb motherfuckers because the people who are coming out of quarantine first off who say i haven't had a, another test that says i'm negative you can still be fucking positive why the fuck are you coming into my fucking store when you don't even know if you're, like, infecting your own kids, infecting me, infecting everyone in the store. Because when no one's in the store, my mask is down. My mask is down so I can go and take care of shit. And to the people who are supposed to be in quarantine, there's a fucking reason for that, yo. There's a fucking reason. You're in that fucking quarantine, so guess what? You don't infect any fucking uh, anyone fucking else. It's stupid how some people here are just so, so, so stupid or so inconsiderate of other people that they will go out when they're supposed to be in quarantine. I had three guys, three guys from Puerto Rico who came over here who were supposed to be in fucking quarantine. No, they're over here hacking and wheezing, buying smokes, trying to dab me up, going to the bar. It's like, oh, fuck no, I'm not going to that bar for at least two weeks. Fuck that. And the sad thing was, one person got sick. They caught COVID, which meant the bar had to get shut down. They had to come in because only one of our distributors got sick, and he took it out with him. Thank Christ for that. Last thing I need is get poke prodded and have a, another cotton swab shut up my schnoz. Just to be told, oh, you're fine. I mean, ah. All right. Huh. Okay, calming down now. Uh, there are a few things I need to talk about about the channel. Seeing as I have six, seven, eight. I got about nine minutes left on the tape. And it should take us about five, maybe ten. So here's what's going on. Uh, as of this recording on the 15th, Episodes 9, 10, 11, and 12 of Dying Light have been recorded. Um, Assassin's Creed, we're all the way up to episode 16, so I can just... I record three at a time. Three or four at a time, so that way I can get through most of the month at a time. Uh, uh, Minecraft episode 8, 
was recorded already. Uh, we are actually trying to get away from Sky Factory a little bit. I want to get in there and see how to make things work a little better and restart it. Um, ah, the 25th, I have not yet to record any of the Punisher after episode 10. Uh, I have not done episode 10 or beyond that. Just because eh, it takes a while for me to set everything up and then do the recordings. So it's been more like, okay, get everything else done, then we get time. Bam, get that done. Uh, we are all the way up to uh, episode uh, 13 of Lego Star Wars. And, Le and uh, Saints Row 1 is up to episode 11. So we should be good. Uh, Far Cry is up to episode 5. I might actually have to record more of that today just so we can get through the month. Uh, the couple months uh, ahead until we can go into... I And then here's the thing. I don't know if I should go into Primal, keeping it in the line of the game, because after 4 came Primal. I hate Primal. I play it so many times. I fucking hate Primal. I'm actually considering just skipping Primal altogether. I hate Primal. Primal can go suck a fatty. I, I hate it. I freaking hate Primal. I'm highly considering skipping it until the end because I still have Fire uh, Far Cry 1 I still want to do. After that, we go into, yeah, either uh, Far Cry 5 or, yeah, we go into Far Cry 5 where it's in America again and yeah. But we also have the Yeti Trail to do and all that, so... There's a lot to do in Far Cry. I don't care how far the story gets. There's a ton of shit that we can do inside the game. Kind of like what we did in uh, 3 with a few of the extra little side missions and all that. That way we can get special gear, special weapons, that kind of stuff. So we do have that. Also, I wanted to see if we can get all the perks in the perk tree, which is actually an achievement that I've never gotten. So we do have to do a few things, and I because I want to get to that autocross again, which is a auto cross, uh, handheld autocross uh, bow that you and it kills them people silently, and you can just go recover your arrows, or in this thing's case, it's bolts. So yeah, um, dying light. I'm actually starting to get a little more into it. Beforehand, I could not get into it. It was kind of like. Uh, Dead Island in the beginning. I could not get into it. I could not get into it. And then I started to finally like, oh, yeah, I like this. Noticing things about weapons that I needed to start noticing. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, I got this. I got this. We actually just got through an emotional two episodes because of what happens in the main story and a little bit of a side mission. So... Yeah, it, it, it's nice, but at the same time, it kind of sucks. We actually need to go back to the tower in episode, I think, 13? Or, yeah, episode 13 or whatever. What was that? Yeah, never mind. I'm going to look up on this computer. Yeah, I don't... I keep everything on my computer for a while. That way we can figure out where we need to go. Oh, no, we're on episode 14. Yeah, we're all the way up to episode 14, so holy shit. That being said, uh, with episode 14 being done, we are already up. We are six episodes away from me having to make more uh, beginnings. Uh, you guys always see the whole like art that says, oh yeah, this is what it is, uh, episode whatever. Like Saints Row picture, episode whatever. And then it has the announcement like, hey, this is not suitable for children. These games are violent, they're rude, and all that kind of stuff. You know, st stuff that makes parents at least a little bit happy knowing, okay, at least it's re responsible to tell me this shit. And also, we are looking at after uh, Dying Light. We are actually looking at going into Homefront. Uh, a game that came out that was that is so glitchy that it actually will kick you out for... The only reason of... Oh, I didn't like it that day. Uh, it, it's a fun game where you can interact with all your parts. And we're doing that until I can afford uh, Cyberpunk 2077. 
I've heard a lot of good reviews and a few bad reviews about it that it's glitchy, it's not good, but yeah. And uh, I'm thinking after Punisher, we're going to be moving into Max Payne. There are three games of Max Payne, and I played the original, the, the first original game. I never played the other two, but and in the first, I got up to a certain point nearing the end where you have to shoot wires to stop a helicopter from flying away. Uh, yeah, that's. Oh yeah, I, I gotta look up how you fucking do that because I would shoot one and the wire would flip around, but then I couldn't get the other three because I was locked the fuck in. And if I tried jumping off, I jumped off the building. So I got to look that up. So we still got about three minutes, about two minutes left on the tape. I hope you guys are having a nice day. Uh, again, right now, it's just before the, se the holiday season. I hope you all have a nice, safe holidays, unlike Thanksgiving, where we had an uptick of like 30, or 30 to 40% of people becoming more infected. So I hope you all are staying safe, not doing anything stupid in the way of going out and trying to get yourself sick. We're inviting a bunch of people over and having holidays like normal. We need The best way to curb this is to kind of pull yourself back a little bit and remember that the world is sick right now. You want to have a Christmas? Cool, but keep it small. Keep it about four or five people. Make it your parents you, your spouse, and if you have, or your partner, sorry, uh, and whoever the fifth person is, hell, has six. Kids, I don't think, count, but because they can be asymptomatic, so you shouldn't have kids, but are there with you because they can carry it and just be a cold and get everyone else sick. I don't know the rules also regarding your state, so talk to officials, look online, see what you guys have to do. Because last thing we want is anyone during the holidays to get sick. So, thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like down below. You guys are going to have a whole minute of just silent mining. So, thank you. And remember, have fun playing in the dark. I will see you guys in the next one. Night. <laughs>